at the Denver Coliseum in front of an audience of over 5,000. 24 top fighters from around the world are about to compete in one of karate's toughest tests of fighting spirit. Black Belt Magazine has called this tournament the most popular single-day martial arts event in the country. Single elimination in three weight divisions, open to all styles. No pads, no gloves, full contact. It is called Ninomiya's Sabaki Challenge. Designed by former All Japan champion Shihan Joko Ninomiya, Sabaki rules use a six-point scoring system that rewards both technique and power. Here is how points are scored. A stunning kick to the head that forces the defender to turn away will be scored as one point. A successful sweep or throwing technique that is not followed immediately by a controlled punch or kick scores only one point. A sweep or throwing technique followed immediately by a controlled punch or kick scores three points, but the fighter must stay on his feet. Any legal blow that doubles over or decisively downs an opponent scores three points. If the down fighter is unable to continue after five seconds, a knockout is scored. The following sweeps do not score. If the attacker is unable to stay on his feet, no points are scored. If the attacker grabs from both sides while taking down an opponent, no points are scored. If the attacker holds his opponent's leg and the takedown is not an immediate and continuous movement, no points are scored. By the end of the preliminary round, half the fighters in the field of 24 would be eliminated. Here's a look at highlights from the opening round action. If you couldn't be at Nanomiya's 1991 Sabaki Challenge in person, you can still catch all the top fighting action on a one-hour video cassette. 
This expanded version of Nonomiya's 91 Sabaki Challenge can be yours for $39.95 plus $4 shipping. Credit card orders, please call 1-800-424-7472. Or send your check or money order to Sabaki Challenge, 4730 East Colfax Avenue, Denver, Colorado, 80220. That's $39.95 plus $4 shipping for your expanded version of Nonomia's 1991 Sabaki Challenge. For credit card orders, call 1-800-424-7472. Or send your check or money order to Sabaki Challenge, 4730 East Colfax Avenue, Denver, Colorado. An old fighting axiom says to give as good as you get. For the local community support of the Sabaki Challenge over the years, Shihan Ninomiya made a gift of $2,000 to the Colorado Children's Campaign. Uh, to me, our children is the most important thing we have. And I feel very lucky I can do, you know, help, help them. Thank you, Shihan. Thank you. As the semifinals get underway, let's join Michael Clark and Randy Randall at ringside for the live call. In the first semifinal of the Sabaki Challenge lightweight division in 1991, Ivan Aguilera. He's opposed by Albert Mady, a powerful, though three inch shorter Canadian from Windsor, Ontario. Well, that right round kick hurt Mady's left front leg. I have a feeling that uh, Ivan is going after that front left leg with mu much more frequency. Mady trying to punch the chest. Aguilera unfazed. Turning his man, taking the power out of his punches, and again, a right kick. Oh, and a right round kick to the back of Mady's head. He is down. He's got to get up by a count of five. There's four. He is not stirring. He is awake but unable to rise. Knockout, Ivan Aguilera. Aguilera's low kick spun Mady around and set up the roundhouse that scored the knockout. Aguilera advanced to the lightweight final. Salman Toya, injured by a face punch in his first match, was unable to fight, so Tamaki received a bye and moved on to the finals. The first middleweight semifinal matched Kenshin Orito against Mitsuyasu Shigeta. Shigeta quickly put his judo background to good use. He took Orito down with a sweep, but held the leg too long. The technique was not continuous and no points were awarded. Hook underneath the solar plexus landed well for Orito, but Shigeta is unmovable. Both fighters going upstairs, but without having set it up with some low kicks uh, in advance, uh, it's easily blocked. After two very close rounds in which neither fighter scored, the judges awarded the fight to Mitsuyasu Shigeta in a three to one victory. In the first heavyweight semifinal, Patrick Smith at 225 pounds met 19-year-old Takeshi Osawa, weighing in 20 pounds lighter. Although both men were fighting in their third consecutive Sabaki challenge, this match would be their first appearance together in full contact competition. It was a long-awaited contest, but they wasted no time in getting down to business. Osawa's hurt. So far, we do have a penalty listed up on the board against the red sash, and that is Patrick Smith. Oh, right hook kick, and then a knee to the face by Smith. And Osawa's face is swelling. It is a mess. Smith's descending hook kick caught Osawa in the eye and forced him to turn away, scoring one point. In spite of the punishment, Osawa waited for his opening. Late in the overtime, he found it. Osawa's perfectly timed front kick scored three points and snatched victory from the jaws of certain defeat. 
Takeshi Osawa had advanced to the heavyweight finals. In the second heavyweight semifinal, Brian Connectus of Spokane, Washington, met Fritz Brown from Salt Lake City. Brown had already shown he could take punishment, and Connectus had displayed agility and power. Different defensive strategy, hands high for Brown. He's gonna go low, he's gonna go low and sweep his feet when Connectus is uh, extending himself. A kick to the side of the body oh, no good. A wide open target, hands up and a jump spinning back kick. The heel digs the gut of Fritz Brown and he felt that one. Brown losing concentration, comes right back with a kick to the head, right round kick. Connectus flailing at the body, 20 seconds to go, both men breathing heavily. Connectus showing frustration, he's done everything in the world right and he can't seem to get any effect, any impact on Brown. Fritz Brown is a mountain of a man. Final 10 seconds, crowd calling the fighters to finish strong, Brown has to do something, oh, right round kick to the head, moves ahead of Connectus, but it's not a point technique and it's over. It's over. Brian Connectus in his first Sabaki challenge will move to the finals. It's hard to believe what life would be like without pencils, telephones, computers. The strategy behind Enshin Karate consists of moving to the outside of an attack and counter-attacking from the opponent's blind spot. From the blind spot position, one can counter-attack and finish off using a variety of techniques. Instead of moving to the opponent's backside, a defender can expose the blind spot position by turning his attacker's body. techniques can be used in any fighting situation. Here the attacker's momentum is redirected into a wall.
In a display of stunning power, Shihan Nonomiya first broke 250 pounds of ice using a back kick. Then, turning to the opposite side of the mat, he crushed four 65-pound ice bars with his shin. If you couldn't be at Nonomiya's 1991 Sabaki Challenge in person, you can still catch all the top fighting action on a one-hour video cassette. This expanded version of Nonomiya's 91 Sabaki Challenge can be yours for $39.95 plus $4 shipping. Credit card orders, please call 1-800-424-7472. Or send your check or money order to Sabaki Challenge, 4730 East Colfax Avenue, Denver, Colorado, 80220. That's $39.95 plus $4 shipping for your expanded version of Nonomia's 1991 Sabaki Challenge. For credit card orders, call 1-800-424-7472. In the lightweight final, 19-year-old Kenichi Tamaki, who had shown both speed and timing, faced five-time Chilean champ Ivan Aguilera, a winner twice this evening with three-point sweeps and a devastating knockout. Oh, right kick behind the leg of Aguilera, behind the thigh, destabilizing and dropping the man Aguilera. And now, coming from behind, Tamaki breaks on top. Two to one. He gets a point for that one. Same technique as before. A left right punch and then kicking to the back leg. A neat sweep. Spin kick by Aguilera. Grab from behind. Getting the angle is Tamashiro putting his man down. Excellent read on that back spin kick. Clock is running. Aguilera must hurry. He's on the attack. Punching the belly. Tamashiro Says he got hit in the face again, waves it off, says incidental contact, no big deal. Faking the right round kick, left round kick low, right punch low by Aguilera, holding on is Tamaki, it will end this way on the mat. An upset coming from behind, Kenichi Tamaki Tamashiro is the 1991 Sabaki Challenge lightweight champion, a 5 to 1 victor. Kenichi Tamaki was the Sabaki lightweight champion. He had swept twice with well-timed low kicks and scored a third takedown against a spinning back roundhouse kick. What he lacked in power, Tamaki had more than made up for with speed and technique. In the middleweight final, Yoshio Nakagawa, with a six-inch height advantage, faced Mitsuyasu Shigeta, survivor of a grueling double overtime in his first round match. Shigeta catches the leg off. His, drops his man down with a control punch. Nakagawa, the taller fighter. Shigeta with the red sash takes a right round kick and delivers the same. Now Shigeta going for the head against this eight inch taller opponent. Knee kicks. Nakagawa's favorite technique, grabbing and kneeing, and he is scoring points. There's a welt on the top right forehead of Shigeta. Shigeta with the round kick is the active man in the ring. Left round kick to the head by Nakagawa, partially blocked. Three seconds, it's gonna end without any more contact. The winner, the middleweight champion, the man seeking the American dream, finds it in Denver, Colorado, Mitsuyasu Shigeta. With his quickness and judo background, Shigeta kept his opponent off balance. His stunning throw and controlled punch against the Nakagawa roundhouse had given him a three-point margin. Mitsuyasu Shigeta was the Sabaki middleweight champion. After a punishing semifinal comeback, Takeshi Osawa now faced Brian Connectus in the heavyweight final. Left to the body, lands for Osawa. Oh, right round kick behind the head. He says, no, I say yes. That landed solidly. Oh, sweep. Put the right leg behind Osawa, followed with a control punch. Three Connectus points. showing quickness. Oh. 
three nothing with a minute to fight in the first of three periods. Connectus has been so active, the wear and tear on Osawa with the cut eye and the punishment he's taken so far, perhaps has slowed him down here in the final. Connectus is strong. He, he looks a little lean, but he's got good power. Oh. Of course, Osawa took a lot of punishment in the semifinal from Patrick Smith before pulling that one out late with a three-point knockdown as both men went to kick. Oh! Hook kick to the head. Osawa is stunned. He is trying to get up. He won't make it. He will not beat the five count. Spinning hook kick. Brian connect this spectacular knockout. He is the heavyweight champion in the 1991 Sabaki Challenge. Drawing on an imposing arsenal of attacking techniques, Connectus set up the spinning back roundhouse that floored Osawa. For the second knockout in three matches, Brian Connectus won the Sabaki Challenge Heavyweight Championship. If you couldn't be at Nanomiya's 1991 Sabaki Challenge in person, you can still catch all the top fighting action on a one-hour video cassette. This expanded version of Nonomia's 91 Sabaki Challenge can be yours for $39.95 plus $4 shipping. Credit card orders, please call 1-800-424-7472. Or send your check or money order to Sabaki Challenge, 4730 East Colfax Avenue, Denver, Colorado, 80220. That's $39.95 plus $4 shipping for your expanded version of Nonomia's 1991 Sabaki Challenge. For credit card orders, call 1-800- The Sabaki Challenge is a test of fighting spirit designed by a champion for champions. In one sense, it is more than a competition, it is a quest. In the Sabaki Challenge program, Shihan Nanomiya described that quest this way. I fought in the All Japan six times, Nanomiya wrote, but didn't win the championship I coveted until 1978. Of course, I wanted to win, but in losing, I learned things I would have missed in victory. When I finally won the All Japan, I realized that for me, the harder way was a surer way. In facing the challenges that kept presenting themselves to me, I was able to learn things I couldn't have anticipated. Traveling that road towards my goal, I had believed the goal was the most important thing. But it wasn't until I won the championship that I understood that it was not the goal, but the road itself that mattered most.
For the martial artist, a circle creates more opportunity than a square. In a square, once you are cornered, your only way out is to power through your opponent. In a circle, however, you can move to the side. You can use technique instead of power alone. strategist, this is the essence of the circle. Whether a fighter carries it in his head or it's painted on the mat, the circle is the heart of Sabaki. Sabaki rules are based on a six-point scoring system. In a given match, the first fighter to score six points wins. Otherwise, the fighter ahead on points at the end of the match is declared the winner. In case of a tie, the fighter with fewer penalties wins. If the match is tied on points and penalties, a judge's decision ensues. If the judges fail to reach a decision, the winner is decided by board breaking. Here is how points are scored. A stunning kick to the head that forces the defender to turn away will be scored as one point. A successful sweep or throwing technique that is not followed immediately by a controlled punch or kick scores only one point. A sweep or throwing technique followed immediately by a controlled punch or kick scores three points, but the fighter must stay on his feet. Any legal blow that doubles over or decisively downs an opponent scores three points. If the down fighter is unable to continue after five seconds, a knockout is scored. The following techniques do not score. If a fighter encircles his opponent's body or grabs from both sides of the body, no points are scored. If the attacker is unable to stay on his feet, no points are scored. If the attacker holds his opponent's leg and the takedown is not an immediate and continuous movement, no points are scored. In the first of the middleweight quarterfinals, Vernon Owens of Seattle, the 1990 Sabaki champion, faced Yusuke Tokashiki of Saitama, Japan. Last year, on a regimen of powerlifting, Owens gained 20 pounds and moved up to compete in the heavyweight division, but lost his first round match to the eventual champion. Back now at his natural weight, Owens made it clear he intended to retake his title. Nice Sabaki move, low kick, and then he goes upstairs with a roundhouse kick. Uh, Yusuke was looking low, looking middle. Vernon went upstairs, uh, very clean, very precise. Sa Sabaki technique, scoring a knockout, six points, over in 45 seconds. In the last of the middleweight quarterfinals, 92 runner-up Nobuhiro Shiraishi of Fukushima, Japan, faced his countryman, Yugo Nobuta. Right off the bat, there's an attempted sweep, nearly succeeding, grabbing the key, round kicks, now knee kicks, and knee kicks again, again attempted sweep. Shiraishi, not as much a punishing fighter as a physically strong fighter, Round kick by Nabuda, but grabbed and yanked around by the key. And there's a sweep at the buzzer. We're seeing three points from a couple judges. A sweep, a controlled takedown, and a controlled punch. Shiraishi's last second takedown scored three points and advanced him to the semifinals.
The second lightweight semifinal paired Tamaki, the 91 champion, against Rafael Linares. The bout would feature contrasting styles, technique and footwork versus raw offensive power. Nice right kick up to start things off by Tamaki with the red sash. Looking at sweep, gets behind, takes Linares down. And the judges like the sweep but not the control punch. See that quick cat-like movement of Tamaki to get to the side and spin Linares down. Joel Humphrey, our referee, sets him again. Low kick to Linares. Not a lot of power in that slapping high kick from Tamaki. Linares wants to duke it out. Tamaki's smart to stay away, stay outside. Again behind him, grabbing him by the key. At least one and point, maybe him three. Down. Not used to having somebody that mobile moving away from him at all times. Tamaki showing a very intelligent fighting tactic. Coming off a knockout victory in his first match, Vernon Owens faced Mike Hayes, whose sweeping techniques had earned him a one-point quarterfinal victory. Still an unknown quantity, Hayes would prove himself a force to be reckoned with. What a great countering technique by Hayes, jumping on that, that front snap kick by Owen, taking out the back foot. Incredible quickness by Hayes. And Hayes has become a sleeper in this tournament. He is ahead one point over the legendary... the front kick actually caught him and then the control punch uh, it, it didn't matter at that point okay so it's a knockdown technique not a sweep and control punch but he punished Hayes to the body and Hayes grimaced on the mat as they come fighting right above us although Hayes swept Owens twice he failed to follow up with a controlled punch Owens' takedown and controlled follow-up scored three points and advanced him into the finals where he would meet Nobuhiro Shiraishi but first, the heavyweights were waiting for their turn in the spotlight. When Patrick Smith appeared in the Sabaki Challenge four years ago, he was the biggest fighter in the tournament. Now he was giving away six inches and 66 pounds to Jerry Harris. What he had lost in size, Smith had more than made up for in speed and technique. And now the former giant was hoping to become the giant slayer. Harris's power, he's dwarfing the giant Patrick Smith. Nice spin kick. Harris raises his hand and says, hurt me if you can. Pushed backwards and a jump spin and kick off the end of the mat. And Harris is mad. He jumps up. He doesn't want anyone to help him and he walks back in and now the smile is gone. Kicked him outside the circle and off the edge of the mat. Harris is smiling as he moves in. Pat Smith knows how powerful Harris is. The contusion he put on the knee of Alan Engie, he was unable to stand when he left the ring in the, in the quarterfinals. Never thought I'd see Smith look up to a fighter, and Smith with great technique behind, but not strong enough to sweep the bigger man. Oh, there's the hook kick, which won a knockout for Patrick Smith in record time. He still has the record for a knockout in this tournament four years ago. Inside of 10 seconds, first technique of a fight, that one was a knockout, but not against Harris. Oh, that was a great kick. Harris dumped on his seat. Here we see Smith trying to low kick, adjusting his distance. Going with the front snap kick. Caught him right at the belt, uh, right above his left leg. That's not a groin kick, that's a very clean technique. A three-point knockdown, no penalty. Two judges say three-point knockdown. And Patrick Smith has the lead, and that's the end of the first two-minute period.
and Harris still smiles as he backs up. He's got two minutes to get even or win in this one. Down three points to nothing. One technique from Harris could end it all, though. Ooh, left round kick outside the circle punishes the thigh of Smith, and Smith looks him right in the eye. A headband comes off, 11 seconds to do something. Power punches inside, over the top. Harris pushing the head down into the knee. Can't use hands from both sides when you pull that head down. You got a warning for it. And it won't matter. Time is up. Patrick Smith has slain the giant. Harris with a good-natured smile holding Patrick Smith's hands up in the air. Smith raising Harris's hands. Paul O'Malley signals. With a 3-0 victory, Patrick Smith advanced to the finals, where he would meet Tomasz Korzewski, the 1992 Sabaki heavyweight champion. A demonstration of Sabaki takedowns was presented by Enshin Master and Sabaki Tournament Director, Shihan Joko Nonomiya. Sabaki takedowns consist of throwing or sweeping techniques from the front, side, or back position. The foot sweep, or ashibarai, is an important part of the Enshin system. It is used for finishing off an opponent. In a concluding display of speed and power, Shihan Nanomiya executed a series of breaking techniques. Coming down the aisle, Hideto Otsu, considered a strong challenger in the lightweight division, moving down from the middleweights last year, where he lost to the eventual champion, Nohiro Tomiyama. And now, coming to the ring, it's Tomashiro, better known as Tamaki, Kenichi Tamaki Tomashiro. He was the 1991 champion. In 1992, he was in Japan and missed the tournament, but he is back this year impressively. Tamashiro, better known as Tamaki, and there is Otsu, an all-Japanese final. Otsu has been strong. Tamaki has shown great footwork, keeping his opponents away from him, and then sweeping them down. Tamaki said he changed his technique since winning in 1991. He isn't proud of that tournament at all. Much more sidestepping, and we've seen the fastest feet I think I've ever seen in the Sabaki challenge from a counterfighter getting behind his opponent. And he's doing it in the lightweight division where the fighters are the fastest. His feet are moving, but I mean, it's taking his body with him. It's not just quick techniques high. Maki dancing away from the straight left hand. Otsu smiling at him. At the end of three rounds of fighting, with neither fighter scoring points or penalties, the judges narrowly awarded the Sabaki lightweight championship to Hideto Otsu. Shalaiashi. 
came to the U.S. for martial arts, and he has been terrific. Shiraishi punishes the leg and takes one back to his front leg on the thigh. That knee on that jump inside by Shiraishi nearly caught the jaw of the smaller Owens. Awfully close. He blocked it at the last second. Less than half a minute to fight. First of three two-minute rounds middleweight championship Sabaki challenge. Just like the lightweight finals, these fighters are both feeling each other out, trying to determine what the other, what their opponent's going to do. And Shiraishi jumping in with knee kicks to punish Owens with a red sash. I'll tell you, if you saw Vernon Owens knock out in the quarterfinal rounds, quarterfinal round, give Shiraishi a little credit for standing still right in front of Owens. Oh, got a leg with the left leg. And Shiraishi signaling to the judge. I got him, I got him. And the judges look like they're, uh, for the most part, saying yes, it's a sweep. Good. One point. One point on a sweep. And Shiraishi breaks on top. Nobuhiro Shiraishi's one-point sweep was enough to secure the victory. He was the 1993 Sabaki middleweight champion. It is the defending champion, Tomasz Kowajewski, from Poland by way of Canada. And there is the giant of an opponent, Patrick Smith, six foot two, 217 pounds. And there is Patrick Smith, a chance for his first championship in the Sabaki Challenge. He's competed and grown as a fighter over three decades. In the 15th annual Sabaki Challenge, he looks to be putting it all together. What will he do against Kuczewski? He says he doesn't know till he's in there. Gets the leg up, looks for the hook kick. It was Mostly a push, not a good sweep. A minute to go. Coming in, a low kick by Smith. The judges say yes, that's an effective technique. Two judges say three points. One judge says one point. One point. It was a timing sweep. There's a front kick to the face and an axe kick. Kind of hooking back over the head of Kuliszewski. It misses and Smith is off the mat. Kuliszewski looks at the clock. Jump spinning back kick by Smith. He runs away, takes a knee. And Patrick Smith finally is the 1993 Sabaki heavyweight champion. Smith's perfectly timed front kick toppled the defending champion Korzewski, and this one-point margin gave Smith his first ever Sabaki Challenge Heavyweight Championship. What is Enshin Karate? Enshin means inner circle. It is a blend of traditional martial arts philosophy and new fighting tactics. In 1978, Shihan Joko Ninomiya won the All Japan Tournament with a blend of power, speed, and innovative technique. Today, Enshin is based on circular movements to the outside of an attack using counterattacks from an opponent's blind spot. This combination of defense and offense is called Sabaki. It is the heart of Enshin Karate. Enshin Karate headquarters are located in Denver, Colorado, with schools across the United States and abroad. Classes are available for children and adults. All Enshin techniques are practiced with control to give a feel for power and the opportunity to develop good technique. For more information, write to Enshin Karate, 4730 East Colfax, Denver, Colorado, 80220, or phone 303-320-7632. Join the inner circle. Enshin Karate. This summer, Texas is locked.
For the fighters in the Sabaki Challenge, the tournament mat provides more than a test of fighting skills. Its circle transforms into the stage for a human drama that measures character and brings to life the virtues of courage, discipline, and spirit. Musashi Miyamoto wrote, Everyone, everything outside of myself is my teacher. In the martial arts, Musashi's words have full meaning. To compete in an atmosphere of camaraderie and respect, even one's opponent can become a teacher. The men who compete in the Sabaki Challenge encounter much that they have trained for and a lot they could not anticipate. They meet different styles and technique as well as familiar faces and friends. With the exception of the champion in each weight division, every fighter has experienced a defeat tonight. But the fighter whose heart and mind is open cannot lose because no outcome can deprive him of the opportunity to learn more about himself, his training, or his life. In this spirit, we dedicate this program to the men who competed in the 1993 Sabaki Challenge. Sabaki Challenge in person. Here's your chance to catch all the top fighting action on a 60 minute video cassette. This expanded version of 93 Sabaki Challenge coverage presents all the best action from every match, and it can be yours for $39.95 plus $4 shipping and handling. Credit card orders, please call 1 800 424 7472 or send your check or money order to Sabaki Challenge, 4730 East Colfax Avenue, Denver, Colorado, 80220. For 60 minutes of expanded Sabaki coverage with slow motion, live call, and color commentary, that's $39.95 plus $4 shipping. For credit card orders, call 1-800-424-7472. Call now and receive a free Sabaki catalog listing a full line of video products and training equipment.